Welcome to Dinosaur Biomechanics. This is Laura and I'm Corrine, and this week we're going to learn about long necked dinosaurs. So, we're over here is the beginning of the neck, and all the way over where Corrine is is where the head is. Laura was standing here, and I was standing all the way over here. That heart had to use so much force to put blood from here all the way up here. Do you guys remember what forces are? Yes. Yes. Can I get three volunteers? <laughs> oh, so many. Okay. <laughs> Being able to kind of combine the two of playing and science and seeing it as fun. <laughs> That's kind of what I want the kids to get out of it. Be as creative as you want to and just play. Imagine, so you guys are four feet tall. The whole dinosaur's neck is seven feet long. Keep squeezing, okay. squeeze, oh, squeeze hard, there, hard, almost there, almost there. there, almost there. Sorry, the blood's going all the way to the brain. I teach them something and they grasp this concept. For me, on my part, I find it so fulfilling. And I always like doing community involvement, so to me this was kind of that opportunity. This demo, but I think we should do this demo because yeah. it's gonna be too hard to have the kids do it and try to incorporate. About a year ago, when I went to the USC Involvement Fair, they were recruiting a semester-long course where you get to teach engineering to students in the community. And when I heard about what this course was about, I really wanted to participate. We are gonna build our own dino. Does, does yes. anyone remember the shapes that you saw downstairs? Or, okay, what did you see? You saw a triceratops. Had two horns. So the goal is you're going to try and build your dino and to see how much weight you can add to it before it falls. Is for group or? When they get really excited, I get really excited. It just kind of goes back and forth. And I just, I love it when the kids come up to me and they want to show me their design. Or we can do like a test together, or we can just see how their design worked. You want some more? Yeah, Giving them a pipe cleaner well. makes them happy. Every, every little thing makes them just, just burst with joy. And teaching these kids about designing and redesigning. I find that I'm learning to be an engineer. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning to redesign, I'm learning to, to say my first idea was not good enough. Know, but he's gonna, it, it, it'll stand easier if it has four try, legs try like his. Like if it has three, it's going to fall where that leg is. A lot of them, they kept their smiles, which to me, I take smiles as, OK, we're still motivated to try to figure out how to get this to work. I always try to send as much positive reinforcement, like, hey, no worries. Go, go back, try it again, and then come back, and we'll see You know, it'll work. There you go. Oh, yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Let's see. Do you want to try making it loose? Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so cool! <laughs> Yay! They have a bus tour around the cities to say like this is the community you're going to be a part of and I think that was a part of my decision to come to USC. Coming to downtown Los Angeles it's quite similar to my community back home and a good portion of the students in my high school they just dropped out and more affluent schools they have the parents could pay for tutors their parents could pay for SAT classes whereas we couldn't. It was the teachers that gave their time that spent hours after school. And that's what I wanted for this class. I wanted to fulfill that commitment I made. I'm hoping that they don't feel that science is out of their reach because they come from a certain area or a certain zip code. We went through our own kind of economic hardships when I was growing up and my parents said, no matter what, Laura, 
No one can take away your education. No one can take away your curiosity. Science really has no boundaries. They're reminding me of my passions from not too long ago, and I, I just, I need that reminder, and they were just in the perfect spot to give me it. <laughs>